Hello friends, welcome to the lecture on uh, critical points and paths of non-linear systems. So, in this lecture we shall consider a, a real uh, autonomous system which is non-linear. Uh, say for example, uh, dx by dt equal to px by dy dt equal to qxy. Now, suppose this system has an isolated critical point 0, 0, further px by and qxy are such that px by is equal to ax plus by plus p 1 x y q x y equal to c x plus d y plus q 1 x y where a b c and d are real constants and uh, they satisfy the condition that a d minus b c is not equal to 0. For the functions p 1 x y and q 1 x y we have the following condition uh, p 1 x y and q 1 x y have continuous first order partial derivatives for all x y and are such that p 1 x y over under root x square plus y square as x y tends to 0 0 goes to 0 0 and q 1 x y over under root x square plus y square as x y goes to 0 0 also goes to 0 as uh, so p 1 x y and q 1 x y satisfy uh, these conditions then uh, the system 1 can be written as d x by d t equal to a x plus b y plus p 1 x y uh, d y by d t equal to c x plus d y plus q 1 x y uh, where a b c d p 1 x by q 1 x y satisfy the conditions 1 and 2 that is a d minus b c is not equal to 0 p 1 x y and q 1 x y have first order sec, uh, uh, continuous partial derivatives and p 1 x y over under root x square plus y square q 1 x y over under root x square plus y square tend to 0 0 as x y goes to 0 0. Now, if p x y and q x y in the system 1 can be expanded in the power series about the point 0 0 then we can write the system 1 as d x by d t equal to p 0 0 plus uh, partial derivative of p with respect to x at 0 0 into x partial derivative of p with respect to y at 0 0 into y and then second order terms. So, a 1 2 into x square a 2 2 into x y a 2 1 into y square and then higher order terms and similarly d y over d t can be written as q 0 0 plus partial derivative of q with respect to x at 0 0 into x partial derivative of q with respect to y at 0 0 into y and then second order terms and so on. So, b 1 2 into x square b 2 2 into x y plus b 2 1 by square and so on. Now, since 0 0 is a critical point of the nonlinear system, we are uh, so p x y and q x y at 0 0 must vanish and so therefore, p 0 and 0 and q 0 0 uh, is equal to 0 and then this system, okay, this system is of the form uh, 2 this system is of the form 2 where uh, a is partial derivative of p with respect to x at 0 0, b is partial derivative of p with respect to y at 0 0, c is partial derivative of q with respect to x at 0 0 and d is partial derivative of q with respect to y at 0 0. p 1 x y uh, uh, is, uh, is a series of terms a 1 2 x square plus a 2 2 x y plus a 2 1 by square and higher degree terms and q 1 x y is b 1 2 x square plus b 2 2 x y plus b 2 1 by square and higher degree terms in x and y. Now, we can see that p 1 x y and q 1 x y over under root uh, if we divide p 1 x y by under root x square plus y square and q 1 x y by under root x square plus y square then as x y goes to 0 0 they, they go to 0. So, uh, here a b c d are this a d minus b c therefore, is not 0 provided this Jacobian is not 0. We know that the Jacobian of p q with respect to x y is of this form be defined like this. Okay, so, uh, a is partial derivative, so, a is partial derivative of x with respect to uh, with respect partial derivative of p with respect to x at 0 0 similarly b c and d and a d minus b c is not equal to 0 it means that 
this Jacobian is not 0. So, the requirement this is clearly met because P 1 x y and Q 1 x y contains uh, second and higher order terms. So, when we divide by n w x square plus y square and take the limit as x y tends to 0 0, uh, the limit becomes 0. So, this uh, requirement is met and this requirement is also met. Now, let us consider the system d x by d t equal to x plus 2 y plus x square d y y d t equal to minus 3 x minus 4 y plus 2 y square. You can see that here a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2, c is equal to minus 3 and d equal to minus 4. And so, uh, 1, 2, minus 3, minus 4, a, b, c, d. Okay. So, this is minus 4 and then plus 6 is equal to 2. So, a, d minus b, c is not equal to 0. Okay. So, uh, the our nonlinear system is such that the coefficients of x, y that is a b in the first equation c d in the second equation satisfy the condition a d minus b c equal not equal to 0 p 1 x y is equal to x square q 1 x y equal to 2 y square. Since p 1 x y and q 1 x y are polynomials in x and y of uh, degree 2, okay, uh, they have continuous first order partial derivatives and uh, further p 1 x y over under root x square plus y square. Let us find the limit of this as x y tends to 0 0. We shall show that this limit is 0. So, this is limit x y tends to 0 0 x square over under root x square plus y square. Uh, now, uh, uh, we know that in order to find this limit, okay, we go by epsilon delta definition. So, in order to show that this limit is 0, let us begin with an epsilon uh, which is positive number. So, let epsilon greater than 0 be arbitrary. Then we have to find a delta greater than 0 such that mod of x square over under root x square plus y square minus 0 can be made less than epsilon whenever uh, under root x square plus y square is greater than 0, but less than delta. So, this is equal to x square upon under root x square plus y square. Now, this I can write as under root x square plus y square because x square plus y square is under root uh, this is less than or equal to. Uh, actually uh, you see mod of x is equal to under root x square plus y square okay? and x square when x is real is equal to mod of x square. So, x square is equal to uh, uh, so this is less than or equal to mod of x is less than or equal to under root x square plus y square and x square is mod of x square. So, this is what this is uh, this is nothing but uh, x square upon under root x square plus y square is equal to mod of x square upon under root x square plus y square and mod of x is less than or equal to under root x square plus y square. So, under root x square plus y square is square divided by under root x square plus y square. So, what you get is under root x square plus y square. So, this is this and this is less than delta. Okay, This is less than delta and delta is less than or equal to epsilon. So, uh, what we do is let epsilon be greater than 0, then mod of under x square upon under root x square plus y square minus 0 can be made less than epsilon whenever 0 is less than under root x square plus y square less than delta and delta is to be chosen. So, less than or equal to epsilon. So, there exist 0 less than delta less than or equal to epsilon such that mod of this is less than 0. So, this implies that limit of x square upon under root x square plus y square as x y tends to 0 0 
is equal to 0. So, in a similar manner we can show that limit x y tends to 0 0 uh, q 1 x y over under root x square plus y square which is equal to limit x y tends to 0 0 q 1 x y is equal to 2 y square upon under root x square plus y square we can show that this is also 0. So, uh, p 1 x y and q 1 x y satisfy the uh, uh, condition 2 that is they are con they have continuous first order partial derivatives and p 1 x y over under root x square plus y square goes to 0 as x y goes to 0 0 and q 1 x y over under root x square plus y square also goes to 0 as x y goes to 0 0. Uh, now, uh, from the requirement 2 uh, on p 1 x y and q 1 x y that they have they tend to 0 uh, uh, p 1 x y over q 1 x y uh, divided by under root x square plus y square tend to 0 as x y tends to 0 0 it means that they tend to 0 more rapidly than the linear terms a x plus b y and c x plus d y. Hence, we suspect that the behavior of the paths of the system 2 this system non-linear system 2 could be similar to that of the pass of the uh, related linear system uh, d x by d t equal to a x plus b y d y by d t equal to c x plus d y uh, uh, which is obtained from the system 2 by neglecting the non-linear terms. And in general it uh, turns, out, turns, out, turns out that this is actually true. Uh, let us uh, discuss this theorem consider the non-linear system 2 uh, where a b c d p 1 and q 1 satisfy the requirements 1 and 2 uh, above that is a d minus b c is not equal to 0 p 1 x y and q 1 x y have continuous first order partial derivatives p 1 x y over under root x square plus y square and q 1 x y over under root x square plus y square tend to 0 as x and as x y tends to 0 0. So, consider also the corresponding linear system 3 this system 3 then both the systems have an isolated critical point at 0 0. Let us take uh, the let us consider the uh, characteristic equation lambda square minus a plus d into lambda plus a d minus b c equal to 0 and let us say that lambda 1 and lambda 2 are its roots then it turns out that the critical point 0 0 of the non-linear system 2 is of the same type as that of the linear system 3 in the following cases if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real unequal and are of the same sign then the critical point 0 0 is a node. We know that for the linear system 3 if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real unequal and are of the same sign then the critical point 0 0 is a node and same is true for the non-linear system. So, if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real unequal and of the same sign then the critical point 0 0 is a node if lambda 1 lambda 2 are real unequal and are opposite signs then the critical point 0 0 is a saddle point. So, in the case of non-linear system also uh, if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real unequal and are of opposite signs then the critical point 0 0 will be a saddle point. Same is the nature as for the linear system here also in the case of non-linear system. If lambda 1 and lambda 2 are conjugate complex but not purely imaginary then the critical point 0 0 is a point if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real and equal and the system 3 is not such that ok. System 3 means again uh, let us see the system 3 is the corresponding linear system this one. So, if it is not of this type a equal to d not equal to 0 and b equal to c equal to 0 we have we have uh, discussed this situation in the case of uh, a linear system. Uh, there were two possibilities. One possibility that in the case of real and equal roots was that a equal to d not equal to 0 and b equal to c equal to 0 and the other case that we had discussed was uh, the, the in the case of all other possibilities which lead to a uh, lead to equal roots which are real ok. We had discussed the uh, type of the critical point. So, here if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real and equal and the system uh, uh, associated uh, uh, linear system is not such that a equal to d not equal to 0 and b equal to c equal to 0 then the critical point 0 0 is a node of the non-linear system. Now, the critical point 0 0 of the system 2 that is the non-linear system is not necessarily of the. So, here there is a difference uh, between uh, the type of the critical uh, a point in the case of non-linear system and the 
associated linear system. The critical point 0, 0 of the nonlinear system is not necessarily of the same type as that of the linear system 3 uh, in the following cases. If lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real and equal and the system is such that a equal to d not equal to 0 and b equal to c equal to 0, then although 0, 0 is a node of 3, it may be either a node or a spiral point of the uh, nonlinear system. If lambda 1 and lambda 2 are purely imaginary, then although 0, 0 is a center of 3, it may be either a center or a spiral point of the nonlinear system. Now, let us uh, look at this remark. Although the type of the critical point 0, 0 is the same uh, for 2 as it is for 3 in the cases 1, 2, 4 in the above theorem. 1, 2, 3, 4. In, the, in this theorem, the actual appearance of the path may be somewhat different. For example, the figure 1 shows a typical saddle point for a linear system, you can see. In, this is a lesser, this 0, 0 here is a saddle point for the linear system, here also 0, 0 is a saddle point, but the appearance of the saddle point is uh, are the paths okay, is different, they are not linear, they are curves, non-rectilinear paths. So, uh, the uh, figure 1 shows a typical saddle point for a linear system whereas figure 2 so suggests how a non-linear saddle point might look. A certain amount of distortion is clearly present in the latter figure in the figure 2, but nevertheless the qualitative features of the two configurations are the same. So, we can see here, here we have two half line paths one half line path here, they all uh, 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 enter and approach 0, 0 as t goes to plus infinity and then we have other two half line paths, uh, they also enter and approach 0, 0, but uh, this goes, this uh, this is the half line path for t tends to infinity, this is these two are the half line paths for t tends to minus infinity and these are the non-rectilinear path of, uh, which are asymptotic to one of one half line, one uh, of the four, one of the four half line paths. And here we do not have half line paths, we have rectilinear paths uh, which enter and approach 0, 0. Uh, you can see here, there is one non rectilinear path and there is another non rectilinear path which enter and approach 0, 0 as t goes to plus infinity and t goes to minus infinity and these non rectilinear paths uh, are asymptotic to uh, uh, these half line paths. Half, uh, uh, this non rectilinear path which are present at 0, 0. So, actual appearance of the uh, 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 this saddle point here in the case of non linear system may be uh, somewhat different. Now, we discuss the stability of the critical point 0, 0 of the non linear system 2. If the critical point 0, 0 of the non linear, uh, if the system uh, linear system 3 is asymptotically stable. See, uh, we have the nonlinear system dx by dt equal to ax plus by plus p1 xy, dy by dt equal to cx plus dy plus q1 xy. The associated linear system we are considering is dx by dt equal to ax plus by and dy by dt equal to cx plus dy. So, if the critical point of the linear system is asymptotically stable, then the critical point 0, 0 of the, uh, uh, the nonlinear system is also asymptotically stable. Now, here are the exceptions. If the roots lambda 1 and lambda 2 are purely imaginary, if the roots lambda 1, lambda 2 of the Kerstati equation are purely imaginary, then although 0, 0 is a stable point of the linear system, it is uh, it may be asymptotically stable, is stable but not asymptotically stable or an stable point, critical point for the corresponding nonlinear system. If either lambda 1 or lambda 2 is real, and positive or they are conjugate complex with positive real parts, then not only 0, 0 is an unstable point of the linear system, but also 0, 0 is an unstable critical point of the uh, nonlinear system 2. So, let us consider example 1, uh, we see that, let us go to the example 1. Huh. So, this is example 1 dx by dt equal to x plus b 2 y plus x square dy by dt is minus 3 x minus 4 y plus 2 y square. So, let us consider the uh, type of the critical point 0, 0 here. So, let us find, let us write the corresponding uh, linear system. 
dx by dt equal to x plus 2y dy by dt equal to minus 3x minus 4y. Uh, so, the uh, Eigen values here are uh, lambda square minus a plus d. So, a is 1, d is minus 4. So, minus 3 uh, into lambda plus a d minus b c which is 2 equal to 0. So, lambda square plus 3 lambda. So, lambda plus 1 into lambda plus 2 equal to 0. So, the Eigen values are minus 1 and minus 2. Okay, now, let us see what is the type of the uh, critical point at 0, 0. Let us go to this theorem. It says that the critical point 0, 0 of the nonlinear system 2 is of the same type as that of the linear system 3 in the following cases. If lambda 1, lambda 2 are real, unequal, and of opposite signs, then the critical point 0, 0 is a saddle point. Oh, sorry, we have to go to 1. If lambda 1, lambda 2 are real, unequal, and of the same signs, then the critical point is a node. So, here we, the roots are minus 1 and minus 2, which are real, unequal, and have the same sign. So, the critical point 0, 0 is a node. So, the roots are real, unequal, and of the same sign, the critical point 0, 0 is a node. Now, we have to go to uh, the stability of this. If the critical point 0, 0 of 3 is asymptotically stable, then it is also uh, 2 is also the critical point 0, 0 of 2 is also asymptotically stable. So, let us see uh, uh, in the case of this uh, regarding stability, uh, uh, we know that the Eigen values are lambda 1, lambda equal to minus 1 and lambda equal to minus 2. So, it is a asymptotically stable uh, critical point of the linear system d x by d t equal to a x plus b y d y by d t equal to c x plus d y. And so, this is also uh, 0 0 is also asymptotically stable point in the case of the nonlinear system of, uh, of example 1. So, the critical point 0 0 is a node and it is asymptotically stable. Now, let us consider this system d x by d t equal to 8 x minus y square d y by d t equal to minus 6 y plus 6 x square. So, here we, we have uh, the corresponding uh, linear system will be d x by d t equal to 8 x d y by d t equal to minus 6 y. So, a equal to 8, b equal to 0, c equal to 0, d equal to minus 6. So, a d minus b c is minus 48, which is not 0. And therefore, uh, first condition uh, a d minus b c not equal to 0 is met p 1 x y is equal to minus y square q 1 x y is equal to 6 x square. So, again p 1 x y q 1 x y are uh, polynomials in x and y of degree 2 each. So, they have continuous first order partial derivatives For, further as we have shown uh, in example 1 p 1 x y over under root x square plus y square uh, limit x y tends to 0 0 p 1 x y over under root x square plus y square is equal to minus limit x x y tends to 0 0 y uh, square over under root x square plus y square it will be 0 and similarly limit x y tends to 0 0 6 x square which is q 1 x y upon under root x square plus y square will be 0. So, the second condition is also met. Uh, now, let us see uh, uh, the characteristic equation is lambda square minus a plus d into lambda plus a d minus b c not equal to 0 is equal to 0. So, lambda square minus a plus d a is equal to 8 d is equal to minus 6. So, we have lambda square minus uh, 8 minus 6. So, we have 2 lambda lambda square minus 2 lambda and a d a d equal to uh, minus 48. So, we have lambda square minus 8 lambda plus 6 lambda minus 48 equal to 0 and this gives us 
lambda minus 8 into lambda plus 6 equal to 0. So, the eigenvalues are lambda equal to 8 and minus 6. Now, the eigenvalues are real, unequal and of opposite sign. So, the point 0 0. Let us go to the theorem. If lambda 1 and lambda 2 are real, unequal and of opposite signs, then the critical point 0 0 is a saddle point. So, it is a saddle point, 0 0 is a saddle point. Okay. Now, we go to uh, regarding stability. Ha. In regarding stability, is, uh, see we have if the critical point 0 0 is asymptotical, asymptotically stable, then the critical point 0 0 of 2 is also asymptotically stable. Okay. Here, if either lambda 1 or lambda 2 is real and positive or they have conjugate complex. Uh, or they are conjugate complex with positive real part that are then not only 0 0 is an stable point of 3, but also 0 0 is an stable critical point of 2. So, here we have seen lambda 1 is equal to 8, lambda 2 equal to minus 6. So, uh, one of the two uh, eigenvalues is positive, real and positive and therefore, 0 0 is a critical uh, unstable point of 2, uh, unstable point of this uh, equation uh, system. So, uh, this is unstable. Now, uh, let us find other critical point, a real critical uh, per point of this system. Okay. We have seen uh, dx by dt equal to 8x minus by square, dy by dt equal to minus 6 by plus 6 x square. So, uh, we have only considered the real critical point 0 0, but they, it has other real critical points also. Let us uh, find those other real critical points and see what are the uh, what are what what is the uh, nature of the critical point there? So for that we as we know the critical points of a uh, system uh, uh, is given by dx by dt equal to px by dy by dt equal to qx by px by equal to zero qx by equal to zero. So we shall have uh, 8x minus by square equal to zero and minus 6 by plus 6x square equal to, equal to zero. So this will give you by square equal to 8x and here x square equal to y. Uh, so, we have here uh, this will give you by 4 equal to by 4 equal to 64 x square by 4 equal to 64 x square x square is by so 64 y. So, we have y times by cube minus 64 equal to 0. So, this is by into by minus 4 and then by square this is by cube minus 4 cube. So, by by minus 4 by square plus 4 y plus 4 square. So, 16 equal to 0. Now, uh, uh, the real solutions of this equation you can see uh, are by equal to 0 and by is equal to 4. This equation by square plus 4 by equal plus 16 does not give us real solution because b square minus 4 a c is equal to uh, 16 minus 4 into 1 into 16 which is negative. So, by square plus 4 by plus 16 does not give us a real value of by the real values of by are 0 and 4 and uh, x square is equal to y. So, x square equal to uh, uh, by 0 so uh, or we can find uh, okay. so x square is equal to y. So, x is equal to 0 when y is 0 and x square is equal to 4 when y is 4. Now, this gives you two values of x, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to minus 2. Let us see uh, x is equal to 2. If you take x equal to 2, then y square is equal to 16 is fine. Okay. So, x equal to 2 is admissible, but x equal to minus 2 is not admissible because y square becomes minus 16. So, uh, corresponding to 4, x should be taken as 2. So, we have two critical real critical points are
0 0 and 2 4. Now, the nature of the critical point 0 0 we have already found. Uh, so, let us see the nature of the other real critical point 2 4. So, we have x equal to 2 by equal to 4. Let us tra translate this point 2 4 to 0 0 by putting j equal to x minus 2 and eta equal to by minus 4. Uh, then uh, this x equal to 2 by equal to 4 will go to j eta plane at the point 0 0. Uh, now, let us write the uh, given equations in the form of j and eta. So, we have dx by dt equal to 8x minus by square dx by dt equal to 8x minus by square and uh, dy by dt equal to minus 6 by plus 6 x square. Okay. Now, uh, you can see here dy by dt equal to dx by dt. So, we have dy by dt equal to 8 x. So, 8 times x equal to j plus 2 minus by square, by square is eta plus 4 whole square. So, we have 8 j plus 16 and we have minus eta square minus 8 eta plus uh, minus 16. So, we get this d j by d t equal to 8 j minus 8 eta minus eta square and d eta by d t d eta by d t is equal to d y by d t. Okay. So, d y by d t we can write as d, eta, d eta by d t and then minus 6 times y is equal to uh, eta plus 4 plus 6 times x square j plus 2 whole square. So, we get minus 6 eta minus 24 and here we have 6 j square and we have uh, 4 j. So, 24 j and then 4 into 6 24. So, this cancels with this and we have uh, uh, 24 j minus 6 eta and we have 24 j minus 6 eta and plus 6 j square. Now, you can see d j by d t is equal to uh, 8 j minus 8 eta minus eta square d eta by d t is equal to 24 j minus 6 eta plus 6 j square. This system uh, is of the same type as uh, we have uh, taken uh, d x by d t equal to a x plus b y plus p 1 x y and d y by d t equal to c x plus d y plus q 1 x y. This system is same as this system. You can see a d minus b c is not equal to 0. Here we have a equal to uh, a equal to 8 uh, b equal to uh, minus 8 c is equal to uh, 24 and d is equal to minus 6. So, a d a d is minus 48 a d minus b c will be uh, minus 40 plus 24 into it. Uh, so, that will be uh, 192. So, this is not 0 and uh, you can see p 1 j p 1 x by is p 1 actually j eta here p 1 j eta is equal to uh, we have minus eta square and p 1 uh, q 1 j eta is equal to 6 j square. So, p 1 j eta over under root j square plus eta square as j eta goes to 0 0 is 0. Similarly, q 1 j eta over under root j square plus eta square goes to 0 0 as j eta goes to 0 0. So, both condition 1 and 2 are met and therefore, the uh, solution of this system uh, the, uh, the critical point the critical point of this system uh, uh, d j by d t uh, d eta by d, d t that is 0 0 in j eta plane will be same as the corresponding 
linear system. Uh, the Eigen values here for this system are uh, we have 8, so lambda minus 8, sorry, we have 8 j minus 8 eta, so 8 minus lambda minus 8 and we have here uh, 24 and we have here minus 6 equal to 0. So, we have to find Eigen values here, we have 8 minus 8 minus lambda then minus 8 24 minus 6 minus lambda. So, we will get here uh, 8 minus lambda into minus 6 minus lambda and then we have here plus uh, 192 equal to 0. Okay. So, what the question we are getting uh, minus 48 plus 6 lambda minus 8 lambda and then plus lambda square plus 192 equal to 0 is it okay minus 48 plus 6 lambda minus 8 lambda plus lambda square plus 192. So, lambda square minus 2 lambda lambda square minus 2 lambda 192 minus 48. One forty four equal to zero. Now b square minus four ac is negative here, so it will give you complex root so, lambda equal to one uh, my, uh, two two plus minus under root four minus uh, four into one forty four divided by two. Okay, so it will give you one plus minus i times uh, okay two. Uh, here what we will get. We can take 4 common, so we will get 2 here and then under root 143. So, this 2 will cancel and we will get 1 plus minus i square root 143. So, 2 eigenvalues are conjugate complex alpha plus minus i beta, alpha is positive, it is 1. So, uh, we can see the nature point, uh, okay. so it, in this case. Uh, let us go to uh, this one theorem 1. If lambda 1 and lambda 2 are conjugate complex, but not purely imaginary, since alpha is equal to 1, uh, it, they are uh, alpha 1 alpha 2 are not purely imaginary, then the critical point 0 0 is a saddle point. So, 0 0 in the j eta plane is a saddle point, this 0 0 in the j eta plane, 2 4 has gone to 0 0 in the j eta plane. So, it is a uh, it is a it is a spiral point if lambda 1 and lambda 2 are conjugate complex, but not purely imaginary then the critical point is a spiral point 0 then 0 0 is a spiral point. Uh, so, uh, 2 4 is a spiral point and uh, regarding stability if either lambda 1 and lambda 2 is real or positive and are they are conjugate complex with positive real parts, then not only 0 0 is an unstable point of 3, but also it is unstable critical point of 2. So, 0 0, so 2 4 or you can say 0 0 in the j eta plane is a unstable point. So, it is unstable uh, spiral point. Uh, now, let us come back to the uh, x y plane, 0 0 is the uh, uh, point in the j eta plane, but in the x y plane it is 2 4. So, the nature of 2 4 is that it is a unstable spiral point. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.